really lovely weekend, y'all. It is a bad time. I was in my jammies, ready to go to bed. However, just when I thought I was ready to go to bed, my tenant is asking to be dropped off at emergency services because she's not feeling well. And that is very, very important. I wanna point out that when you know that you are not feeling well, mentally or physically, that you have to take care of yourself. So I started out to make this, this vlog to share with you my vlog from today and how today went and how it started out and how I have not been posting because I have been feeling some kind of way and I started out vlogging and blessings just started coming and coming and coming so before I leave to drop her off where she needs to go I will put this little clip with the rest of my vlog and I hope you enjoyed the vlog today a request if you are in a position to give a blanket or uh, gloves or hat or scarves or something it is so cold out here where I'm at if you I don't know where you may be in the world right now but there is a need and we are blessed to be a greater blessing as much as I did not want to come onto social media I needed to take some time out and just, just to say, it's cold and we are blessed to be a greater blessing. No matter what we are going through right now, there are other people that needs are greater than our own. And we have to take care of ourselves before we are in a position to be able to care for others. With that being said, just throw a blanket in your trunk, throw some recycle in your trunk. We cannot save the world. Jesus already did that. But what we can do is one person at a time, one situation at a time, be a greater blessing to someone else. So I have two bags of recycle in my trunk and I threw a blanket in the back seat and I'm just praying that God will send someone across my path. I'll swing by the 10 cities that I know of and hopefully someone can use these items it is cold it is cold and I don't like being cold and I know other people don't like being cold either would prefer you know nice temperatures but you know it is what it is it's just the weather So thank God the gentleman was there to receive the recycle and the blanket. So I'm going to pledge to put in my car every day a bag of recycle and one blanket because that is just to me is just the right thing to do. It's if I was in that position, I would pray that God would send somebody my way. I don't know what your circumstances are or what someone else's circumstances are, but it is not for me to judge. All I know is it is cold and I have more than enough, more than what I need. So I'm not going to sit on it and I hope and pray that you all will do the same if you are not in a position to um, hand out you know those types of things then you are always welcome to assist and donate to alternative life solutions 
via Cash App. That is dollar sign alternative LS, dollar sign alternative LS. It is a tax write-off. If you are concerned about that, you can always reach out to me and receive my tax ID number when you file your taxes. Shout out to It's Mean for sending a donation without even, literally, I wasn't expecting it, but it just came. And it came at a time when I was, you know, I'm just going to say that I was in a way, I was just in a way where I felt like, you know what, I'm, I don't want to do this anymore. Uh, when I say don't want to do this, not meaning not want to help people or be a, um, a greater blessing. I just didn't want to do social media anymore. And as soon as I was looking at all the ways, and I sent it's me a message about this too. I was looking for all the ways, like how to deactivate, you know, my YouTube, how to deactivate Facebook, how to deactivate Messenger, how to deactivate Instagram, how to deactivate Twitch, how to de and you know, they send you through all of these, you know, roll over, do some tricks, fetch a bone, tongue fight with a lizard in the desert to deactivate these platforms. And I just didn't want to, um, I didn't want to just deal with looking at other people's um, drama that's going on. So there are ways that I can set filters and respond to those ads. When you're watching other YouTubers and those ads come across and it'll ask you about certain types of ads or why this ad, which ads you would prefer, you can set, you can make, you can choose those settings and you can avoid the temptation to um, click on content that is basically clickbait. You can do that. So I had to realize that in my moment of distress, in my moment of frustration, and as I was going through that and I explained it to its mean, you know, when I was in the process of doing that, it was just like, I heard the cash app and he he literally sent the donation and I, that to me and I have my camera turned around because I, I'm not coming on here to be like oh woe is me and y'all see me crying or on the brink of crying or whatever it's not that I am sad or a saddest it's just that I'm, sometimes you just I get I know me I just get you know so sick and tired of just being sick and tired and I'm only one person I cannot do it all by myself now I ha I was in a position where I could do these things like I wasn't um, getting a lot of donations but every you know every dollar counts that was a real blessing and more than just the money it was to me it was a message from God saying don't give up. I see you. I'm with you. I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. Hang in there. Stand strong. Stand firm. And keep on keeping on. So because I received that message, that is the message that I am I am giving to you all. So I hope that you all are blessed today. No matter what you're going through. Uh, no matter what life looks like. It is not over, it is not the end. You are not alone. You may be lonely, but you are not alone. And there's a difference between being lonely and being alone. I won't ramble on. I just want to say thank you, I love you, and God bless you. Talk to you later, bye. So right now, I am pulling up to Kaiser to pick up my prescription. And it is a prescription that I know that I need. I have not been taking my medications because I was um, in a position where I'm unable to have, um, you know, medical insurance, my primary um, source of income has drastically changed. So God made a way where I can um, pick up my medication. So I'm picking up my medication right now. It doesn't matter if it's rain, shine, sleet, or snow. Don't give up.
I can say that out of personal experience. Everyone's experience is different. Out giving up, just don't give up. Everything is going to be all right. Doesn't matter how many times I tell myself that everything is going to be all right. Nothing is going to happen unless I take the steps to make it happen. Nothing is gonna happen unless you take the steps to make it happen. It's great when you have other people around you to encourage you, to motivate you, even when you don't have others around you to motivate you or encourage you. You have to encourage yourself sometimes. What does that look like? Doing your morning devotion Praying to your creator praying to your god having the faith that takes not waiting for something to fall out of the sky push yourself to get out of the bed brush your teeth even if you have to take a bird bath wash yourself up wash your face if you're fasting you, you don't have to walk around looking like you're fasting just take care of yourself and listen once again and I'm gonna keep saying it. I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna tell you, then I'm gonna tell you, then I'm gonna tell you what I told you. Everything is going to be all right. I thank God that I have a few people that are in my corner. And even sometimes when those people are trying to motivate me, they have their own cross that they have to bear. I have a wonderful daughter who is a teenager. She's awesome. She's got older siblings. They're living their lives. They are awesome. I have a wonderful partner, Curtis, Dirty Weather 916. He is awesome. Shade has an awesome godfather. He does not, not he does not like uh, his name to be shared. He does not like his pictures or videos to be shared. I will say that he has been a great blessing. And let's just call him Mr. GB. He is awesome. Uh, Sade's biological father is the um, well that relationship that I have with him and that he has with my family which is me Curtis and Sade is an awesome dynamic relationship you are not alone and that you are not the only one and the only person that is going through things in life just don't give up that's all I ask it means a lot to me if you would leave a comment if you would share this video and if you would just be encouraged that would mean the world to me even if i never see the seeds that are planted i know in my heart of hearts that once the seed is planted someone else will come along and water it god will shine on it and make it grow so as i embark upon life changes and like I say daily hassles Curtis came along and took me out and did some special things for me I appreciate him I love him I love all of my supporters I love my family and I love to be a greater blessing to others to God be the glory See you.